Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It is my first vlog back in London. Um, and I'm really happy right now because I've been waiting to get my period for a month and a half almost. And I was freaking out. Not that there's really a reason that I should have been because I haven't really done anything that would prevent me from getting my period, if you know what I mean, in the last little while. But I was still like, what the fuck is going on? I don't understand. My mom's like, you're stressed. And I think I just got it this morning. That just took off a little layer of anxiety and stripped it away from my day. This morning I uploaded our podcast, which if you guys didn't know, yes, I have a podcast. Um, I do it with my co-host Danielle. We host it with my co-host Danielle. And I'll link it down below. It's called In Case You Haven't Heard. Um, so I just made myself some berries with Greek yogurt, a bit granola, and there's almond butter under there. My house is also kind of still sort of a mess, a little update. I kind of changed the setup a bit since I'm the only one here. Um, but yeah, we also have people coming to see viewings tomorrow because I'm not gonna live in this place after September. So I have to clean it up, but this I haven't managed to sort out yet. Um, and then you come into my room and I mean, this is this is pretty much as good as it'll get in here. As you can see, it's so small. I have like my rack here. And the problem is like there's more light, but if I open this all the way, you see onto the street and then like everyone can see me changing, which is not ideal. I haven't done this before, but I've been wanting to do it. So I'm gonna do a Melissa Wood health workout. Honestly, like down to do something kind of hard, but I just don't want to wash my hair, you know? 27 minutes full body? I think so. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm home now and I'm just having some lunch. Just thought I'd show you guys. This light is really, really dope. Let me just turn it on. The only light area in this flat is literally here. Tuna, sprouts, half an avocado, cucumber, feta, this EB, everything but, everything but the bagel. Seasoning that's like the Trader Joe's one. It's super, super delish. And a vinaigrette, honey mustard. The places where I don't know they're following the first Hi, I know. Oh my god, I almost fell on the dog. Yeah, so I'm going to my first restaurant experience in London with Arda. We're going to with Circulo Popolare. You went yesterday though. Uh, a week ago. A week ago. And it was really good. Yeah. We were gonna go before COVID, but you know, then I had to leave and go back to to Canada. Not at May. I thought you were going to put on her sweater. Oh, do you want me to? <laughs> do you want your sweater? Do you want a, your Montclair on? So obviously my camera died, guys. So apologies, but we're back on my phone and whatever. So, so far, so good. Everything looks pretty... Like everyone's like two meters away. You know what I mean? So I feel safe. And so does Arna, and so does Suga. Yes, he somehow manages to bring the dog into the restaurant no matter where we go. Um, because she's super like low key, but he had to bring her to the washroom with her right now because if not, she'll like try and escape. And I literally have no idea how to prevent her from doing that. What pasta is doing? I want this. All this prosciutto, yeah. I'm so anyway. I know, I know. Now I, want, now I want more food because I feel like this is so. So lunch was good. Very good, very good dining experience. I mean, for what it is, it was kind of dead um, in there, so it's not really a vibe. But food was good. Kind of weird dining in a restaurant, I guess, but I guess if you take the precautions, it should be okay. So, thumbs up to that. Just back at home. Just been doing work for the past couple hours, had a few calls. Um, and now I'm gonna show you guys on stories or ask you guys for your help with what colors to pick for our upcoming 
in the near future collection. That's about it. I'm gonna peace out and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. What's up? It is Friday today and I'm going to shoot this look with Jen, who is a friend of mine who lives here, who's actually also from Toronto. And I also just got my nails done. I needed a refill and I found a really good place in London. Most places don't do gel refills or sets, I've found for some reason. And if they do, what's going on? So anyway, I found this one place and it's pretty good. Um, so highly recommend, it's called K-E-O, I believe. And this massive fountain. I actually haven't been here since the first time I came to London. But it is pretty grand. On my way home, outfit change. How cute is this look? I think I'm gonna wear this out tonight. So this knit is very affordable. Normally knits like this can get pretty pricey, but this one is really good, so I'll link it down below. The brand is called Simonette. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go home now. Wear this to dinner tonight. I'll show you where we're, this, this is so annoying. Going to edit my vlog right now. In the meantime, I have a couple hours. And then going to go for a walk in Hyde Park, my spot, and then go for dinner. And I will bring my camera out tonight. I'll show you guys my outfit while we are here. So I'm wearing this, excuse my laundry. Um, I'm wearing this top by Orson Iris. I've been dying to get this top. I think it's a little small for me. I got a small and I'm a 32D, so I'd probably recommend getting a size up based on your bust size, cup size, um, if you are bustier. And then these trousers are from Zara, which you guys have seen before, and this sweater, as I mentioned, by Simonetta, which is really cute. And you can see the back kind of like looks like that. And then my jewelry, this is crowned. These are Pilgrim, and these are Orem. All right guys, patiently waiting for my date to show up because he's late, but I'm always late, so it's fine. Um, I did a quick change. I know it sucks that I'm wearing like a bra with straps, but it's just a lot more supportive and that's just the problem that you have if you have bigger boobs. And then I'm wearing the same knit cardigan shrug with this really cool belt and my Converse because I had to walk here so I don't want to be uncomfortable since I have blisters on my feet. One of these chips that I got at Whole Foods. They're really good. Um, because I am waiting, <laughs> waiting to go to dinner. I go do something, but it's literally gonna rain. So until the rain stops, I'm not gonna bother going outside. Because I'm walking to my dinner destination. But it is Sunday, it is five o'clock. I have done many things today, productivity wise put up my first vlog in a while, which is great. Did some editing, some work, all that fun stuff. Okay guys, I'm actually paying my bands right now. I tried, I just got, I just got Freck, which is that really popular freckle cosmetic, I guess, um, tool and, or makeup tool. And I tried putting it on for the first time without watching a video and this literally, I can't. Like, this looks so fucking bad. I don't know how. Well, I mean, I guess I could watch a video to find out. But I, like, have to leave the house in 10 minutes. And I don't know what to do. If I should, like, try covering this up or, or what. It definitely does not look as cute as I thought it would. <laughs> okay. We're good to go. This is the final look. Freckles are a little bit diluted. <laughs> and that's my one. It's just gonna be like a slow well, I reckon burn. It get better as it goes along. Do you want me to do that actually? Because I 
because it's so like tea. Yeah. Yeah. 